Kevin, the Academy went through a, a bit of a restructure over the turn of the, the new year. How have the first few months of that been going? Yeah, it's been better than I thought, to be honest with you. Obviously, we, as you said, we went through a bit of a restructure, started the new year and the new structure, and it, I expected it to bed in and, and take a little while. But to be honest with you, credit to the, to the players and the staff and also all the parents on board as well, that it's been better than I could have expected. Um, so it's always a work in progress. It always is when you talk about youth development. There's always lots of stuff that we can uh, continue to do better and strive to, but the improvements have been fantastic. And obviously we're kind of working across the next couple of months and in the close season to, to make sure that we build on what we've already achieved. And the under-19s recently lifted the, the League Cup. It was an exciting final against Glasgow City and a, a great achievement for them. Yeah, it was exciting. It wasn't great to watch, I'll be honest with you, because uh, I was quite nervous watching the game myself. But no, all joking aside, it was great for the, for the girls to get the rewards. They work ever so hard. Every training session, every game, they, they commit themselves to, to the cause. So they've done fantastically well. And when you talk about youth academy, youth development, it, it is all about development and it really is. However, part of that development is putting them in these pressure situations. So for cup finals, for example, and for our young players to experience that, it's fantastic. For some of them, it's their first final. Hopefully it's not their last. Um, so it's really important that we try to expose the players to different experiences um, in pressure situations for hopefully any other players that go on and play senior football. So it was a really good experience for them and obviously delighted that they, they came in with a win at the end. It was a fantastic game, uh, an exciting game, albeit I'd have probably preferred it to be a bit less exciting, but no, it was great for them. Mm -hmm. And a word on the under-16s as well. They obviously lifted the, the League Cup as well and, and another great achievement for them too. Yeah, and again, it was probably another game where uh, unfortunately I had a player sent off quite early in the game, so the players had to adapt to that again. So. From my perspective, again, it was a great opportunity for the players on the pitch to how did they adapt to going down to 10 players. Uh, and obviously, they adapted extremely well and uh, how they managed that situation, which again, for me, was great. It was a great learning opportunity for them. And hopefully, again, they, if this ever happens again in their careers, they can call upon those moments as well. So, yeah, delighted for, for both age groups. Um, and I must say, it's, you know, I, I mentioned the current staff, but also staff that's gone before it as well that have put in a lot of work and effort to get you know some of the players into the building uh, to develop some of the players along their journey as well so it's not just the collective effort of the here and now but all the people that have gone before them as well which is which is great and worth mentioning as well and recently there have been a number of players away on international duty as well how pleasing is that for the academy to to see them getting the opportunities at, at that level yeah it's really important for us it's you know we talk a lot about here about player challenge and best v best and we try to get that as much as we can within our training environment, within games and our, our games programme. But for the girls to get opportunities to go on international duty and play other teams, again, there's a different style of football that they might have to come up against, um, a different kind of cultural experience that sometimes they go. We had girls about Albania, for example, which I don't think any of them have been to Albania before. So, again, it's all part of their development. I think it's really important. And, again, managed to watch the games uh, online and... They represented the club really well and, and did fantastic. So hopefully um, they'll continue their careers within the Scottish youth national teams and hopefully progress into the Rangers first team one day. Mm -hmm. And in terms of the first team, we, we have seen a number of academy players involved over the course of this season. How impressed have you been with the way they've handled making that step up? Yeah, they just young players surprise you, don't you? Uh, you sometimes think that they'll be nervous and stuff like that, but they just, they just get on with it. And they've done remarkably well. I think it's 22% of, of minutes that the youth players from the academy has actually contributed this year. And considering you know, how well we're doing so far uh, in, in the league, that's a massive achievement. Um, it's always hard when you're competing at the top end of the table to, to get youth players in, but you can see that the club are committed to, to giving youth a chance. And it's great to the girls as well, because obviously if they weren't uh, have at the level of ability to go and do it, they wouldn't get the opportunities. Um, so that's credit to to them as well, making sure that they keep working hard um, and they've contributed to, to our success so far uh, this season, which is great. Mm -hmm. And you touched on the development of players really through the, the age groups as well, but how important is it for, for the older players to get a taste of that and, and see the levels and, and that go into the first team day in? Day? Yeah, it's massive. I think, you know, we, we, can, can, we can try to create an environment in, in the academy training as much as we can. It's competitive and it's demanding as well, um, but when the girls come into the first team environment, they all say the intensity, the levels, the communication, the demand that's put on them is nothing that I've ever experienced before. So it's really important that we make sure that we, we drip feed that in. Um, I think it's important that we don't throw people in when they're not ready. So it's getting that balance, I think, is really important. 
Um, but as I said to you earlier, they've, they've coped with that transition really, really well. And credit to the to, to the girls in the first team as well. They they do make it a bit easier for them. Um, we do have kind of mentors as well that we've paired some of the younger players up with some of the senior players as well. And I think that's really helped the transition as well. And, and they're really good role models for obviously these young players to look up to and, and hopefully emulate one day as well.